Hello everybody. Well, today is the 19th of January. Welcome to our prayer series through the book of Judges. Well, today is a Tuesday and that means as One Life Church, we pray together. Six o'clock tonight on YouTube, you can hook up with us and uh, I'm going to encourage you uh, to fast something. Fast social media, fast a luxury, fast food if, if you can. Uh, fast something. Fasting is a way of reminding yourself all day to intercede. We, we're praying for our country. We're praying for our leaders. We're praying for uh, the church uh, all over the nation and particularly for our church, the people in One Life Church, the dreams God has given them. Together, what we're going to be doing uh, collectively this year in 2021. Uh, so the way you do it is you hop onto YouTube and then and even in, in the comment section, write down uh, the stuff that you would like us to pray for together with you. Uh, let's do this together today. Well, uh, we're in chapter 12 of Judges today. The story of Jephthah continues. Remember the, the mighty man that was outcast from his family uh, because he was born of a woman that was not the brother's mom. And uh, anyway, he had won a mighty battle for the children of God. And uh, today's a tragic story. It's when, when brothers are fighting. And, and basically what we see is when Jephthah had finished an incredible battle, uh, the people from the tribes of Ephraim came out and said, why didn't you include us? Why didn't you use us? And they used this phrase, the Gileadites struck them down because the Ephraimites had said, you Gileadites are renegades from Ephraim and Manasseh. You renegades, you run away, you, you no good. And so Jephthah uh, was a very sensitive man. I mean, he, he had been outcast by his family. But what we see in this story is, is issues that were not dealt with in his past um, came up to haunt him again. And the, the culmination of this story is the Gileadites killed 42,000 Ephraimites. I mean, these are God's people slaughtering each other. Why? Because they've been calling each other names, because they've misunderstood each other. And so, so Jephthah had issues. He had rejection issues. He had issues of rejection from his father. He, he, he had grown up with uncontrolled um, anger. Uh, he reacted to things. He was combative. Uh, there was like a storm and rage inside of him. And so what we're going to pray for today is not only for God's peace, but we're going to pray that um, God shows us in our individual lives the issues we've not yet dealt with. You know, some of you, know, you listening to me today might have parents that are long gone. You might have school teachers that have hurt you and you've never dealt with it. You might have had business partners that let you down, that you've held a grudge with. You might have had a sibling that continued to put you down, put you down, and you've, you've never let that go. And, and so if we don't deal with the issues of yesterday, the, the stuff that scarred us and hurt us, when I say deal with it, I'm saying uh, forgive, let go, Allow the Holy Spirit to come in and, and bring healing. Now, if we don't do that, they, they come back in some form or another to hurt us. And so uh, I'm going to lead us in a, in a word of prayer, a prayer of surrender, a prayer of uh, request that God would show these things to us and, the, and that the grace of God, the healing of God would come deep with inside. Let's, let's pray together. Father, I pray for every person listening today. I pray that, uh, that you would highlight to us things that we've hidden deep down that are, that are still affecting us today. Lord, I pray for the, the grace to forgive, the grace to let go, the grace to surrender these things to you. And I pray, Lord God, that you would pour your healing oil. You would pour uh, your um, sustaining and releasing power into the very depths of people's conscience and subconscious now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for freedom for your church. I pray for those that have got to go and 
apologize or those who have got to go and put right with people. I pray for the courage to be able to go and do that. But by far the most, just the, the grace to be able to forgive. You breathed on your disciples in John 20 and said, whoever you forgive is forgiven. Breathe on us today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.